By one estimate, at least 11,000 kids are living in Massachusetts, even though they're not in the country legally. With that comes the sense their lives could dramatically change at any moment. As Stephanie Lydon reports, that uncertainty is creating a new challenge for local schools. We're talking about the characteristics of a totalitarian state. It's one thing to learn about government, quite another to realize its power. I'm really concerned because of my, fr of my family and friends. Worried because President Trump appeared to be making good on a campaign promise when he issued an executive order to step up deportations of undocumented immigrants. Calls for the tripling the number of ICE officers. These girls, whom we agreed to identify by their first names only, came to the United States within the last six years. Graciela is from Honduras. I'm scared maybe one day I'm not going to see them. But you'll be at school and, and go home? And they're not going to be there. Your family won't be there? Yeah. It's a scenario they've all imagined, as have many of their fellow students here at Boston Community Leadership Academy, where at least 40% of the kids speak a language other than English at home. High school is hard enough. And then you have that layer of, of it's not even uncertainty, it's angst, it's, they're terrified. The academics is one level. You can't get to the academics if the heart and the soul are bleeding. She says the priority is to make students feel welcome and safe. One indication her efforts are paying off, attendance remains high. I feel like there's still hope. Iris is a high school senior. She came here from Guatemala when she was in the seventh grade. Now she's active in the school's student immigration rights group. We're going to protect each other and... Um, can you protect each other? Well, um, just making sure that telling all of us that we're not alone here. They applaud this newly launched Boston Public Schools website with information about immigration rights, a hate crime hotline, and scholarship information for undocumented students. College is the brass ring, the thing many newcomers strive to achieve. Letting go of that dream or this country? while a real possibility is, for these kids, also unimaginable. we built our life here, and we're, we've changed in a way to accommodate to everything that's here. So if we go back, it's not going to be the same. You've become American. Yeah, <laughs> basically. I love the last line, Stephanie. That was great. <laughs> Stephanie Lydon joins Is there any actual evidence that these kids or their parents have actually changed their lives as a result of this fear? That young woman, Elizabeth, said at her home, things are tense. Every time the news comes on, people get upset. The headmaster of that school had a night where she brought in immigration rights attorneys, mm. figuring she'd help parents yeah. you know, figure out their rights. She said the turnout was remarkably low, and she thinks it's because people are hunkering down, scared to go out. If a kid does, or a parent doesn't say, uh, I'm here uh, undocumented, or a parent doesn't say, my kid's here undocumented, do the people in the school know? Uh, uh, other than word of mouth kind of thing, they, do they ask? They don't ask. It's pretty blanket policy, certainly in Boston schools and many others. Their federal law indicates that kids can have a right to an education, whether they're here legally right. or not. And there's there have also been um, information from the Department of Justice saying, listen, you can't ask for a kid's immigration status for enrollment or those kind of purposes. That was the Obama Department of That's Justice. That's right. That, that was 2014. Years. Before you go away, these kids, it's heartbreaking enough for me at least is there any evidence that younger kids who are coming to school are having the same kind yeah, of Senator, angst? Senator Sal Domenico told me a story about being at an elementary school in Chelsea. He's got a book, very excited to read it, it was about bullying. I think he's got the kids engaged. Mm. He closes the book all the kids want to talk about is Trump and their question for him can you do anything to make sure he oh. doesn't send my parents How away? How old are these kids? They were first grade. Oh my god. Stephanie Lawton, thanks so much for the report. You're welcome. Appreciate it.